Todd McFarlane's Spawn film embraces Hollywood wokeness and everyone goes... No surprise there. This is obviously did not shock me at all when I saw this. I was like, you know what? Why not? Everything else is going woke. You know, it, it doesn't... This isn't anything special. It isn't anything unique. I am much more shocked about films that aren't going woke these days than I am about ones that are going woke, which is sad that that is the state of things. But unfortunately, that is the that is where we're at right now. And apparently, apparently they want to lose money on this film. Apparently, they are totally fine with this film not doing as well as it could have if they decided to not do what they are doing with this film. When you see some of the, the decisions that were made behind the spawn film that we are going to be taking a look at in this article you are going to be disgusted and i at least i hope you are because i know that i was so let's go ahead and jump into this and see what all of the hubbub is about when it comes to the spawn film todd mcfarland's spawn film embraces hollywood wokeness spawn creator todd mcfarland admitted the upcoming movie will embrace hollywood wokeness mcfarland spoke to a CBR about the upcoming film where he made it crystal clear the film is embracing Hollywood's race politics. CBR asked the creator last month it was announced Brian Tucker is going to take a crack at the movie script. What about his vision for the project impressed you to bring him on board? And guess what McFarland said? It had nothing to do with, you know, Brian Tucker's skills. It had nothing to do with the talent or the creative ideas that he had behind the film. Nope. It had only to do with his skin color at the end of the day. Well, it wasn't just my decision. There's a handful, this is McFarland speaking, there's a handful of other people working on it that we haven't announced yet. One of the people working on it. That is going to be a big name when we finally get to announce it. I think he said he went through a close to 100 scripts by as many people as he could. The creator then revealed one of the key things he was looking for was a non-white writer he said we were looking ideally for someone who could bring a voice to the character on two levels i'm just a white canadian kid i haven't lived the life of a man in america of someone with dark skin we thought it was important to get the perspective of someone who has someone with that perspective coming in and adding a, di a slightly different bend to what you and i as comic book readers already know as to what spawn is about he added this is then i mean so can we all just like scream racism because that is exactly what this is it is making a decision about someone it is about to determine making a determination about someone based on their skin color which at the end of the day is racism so good job of course of course it isn't racism in the eyes of hollywood this isn't racism because it's woke it's woke which is unfortunately it has been branded racism has been rebranded into this woke nonsense but it is still at the end of the day racism it is happening across the country it is happening in all sorts of different situations it is happening in universities it's happening in hollywood it is happening everywhere this new brand of racism that is apparently socially okay and acceptable because it is woke, which doesn't make it okay. It doesn't make it okay. It doesn't make the fact that you are determining who you want to hire as a writer based on their skin color okay. That is not okay. And I'm not I'm not mad about the fact that, that they're looking for a non that they found a non-white writer. That isn't my problem with this. I don't care who the writer is. If he's talented, at the end of the day, that should be the only thing that matters. It should only matter what they're bringing to the table for merit for talent to actually create a good story because that is your effing job as a writer creating a good story your skin color should have absolutely nothing to do with that but that i mean unfortunately unfortunately hollywood does not view it that way mcfarland then noted that he doesn't want the film to tell spawn's comic book origin i didn't want to do the comic book origin story from issues one two three in the movie we were looking for people without even telling them that to give something a little bit different he continued unfortunately 80 to 90 percent of them according to the other person involved who was interviewing most of them was falling into the trap of retelling the comic book story in the movie 
The Spawn creator then went on to detail that he wants his new film to be relevant today. Spe specifically in terms of his social content. McFarlane explained, we want that movie. That movie came out 20 plus years ago from New Line. So what haven't we seen that would be interesting and relevant today, both in terms of filmmaking and social content? The thing that they don't realize is that they aren't creating timeless stories when they do this. When you tackle things that make it relevant today, you aren't making a timeless story. You aren't making a story that anyone can relate to. You're making a story that will be a fad, that will be cool and hip and hot for the moment, but then it will be lost to time. Because guess what? The things that are relevant today are not going to be the same things that are relevant tomorrow. And these brainlets don't seem to understand that. That is why I can already tell you this Spawn film is going to be terrible. It is not going to be a timeless film. It is not going to be a classic. It is not going to be a film that is going to be remembered in 10 to 15 years like other comic book movies ha that have been made will be like The Dark Knight. That film is a timeless film. That film will last because the messages, the themes that are in that film are timeless. Anyone can relate to those themes. Anyone can get those themes. And unfortunately, like, like I said, I can already tell you, this film, it's going to be bad. It's going to be a bad film because they're looking for things that are going to make it relevant today. What's funny about McFarlane's comments here is that he shoots down the idea of doing Spawn's origin for this upcoming film because it's already been done. But in the next sentence, he's t calling for a movie that will be relevant today, both in terms of filmmaking and social content. Not sure if Todd realizes this, but that's been done to the umpteenth time as well. I mean, yeah, that's what all Hollywood movies these days, not all, but most of them are, that is, that is what they're all going for. They're going for what is going to make it relevant today. And that is why that's part of the reason why so many of these Hollywood films that are being made today are trash and are being easily forgotten. So, with that being said, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. What do you think about Todd McFarlane's comments in regards to the Spawn film? Honestly, this is uh, a tragic thing. This is something that I hate to hear because I was hoping this, this film would be, you know, a decent film. But it is looking like that is not going to be the case. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you go check out geeksandgamers.com and become a member over there. We have a lot of great benefits over there for members. I'm also on Twitch, so go follow me over there. I'd appreciate that a lot. Josiah Rises, and I will talk to you all in another video very soon. Bye.